Yorana. Today, we'll talk about the word mana. What is mana? Is mana something you can hold? Or is mana just a myth or something mythical? I believe mana is a life force that lives in your soul and it fuels your spirit. Mana is that connection from previous generations to our generation now and eventually to the future generation. How can we physically see mana? Can we see it? Can we smell it? Can we taste it? Can we hear it? I believe so. If you've ever been to the islands and been embraced by the warm touch of a, a native greeting you to the islands or greeting you back home, mana is there. Mana is everything that is the culture, the history, the language, even the food of the islands, the smells, the sights. You are experiencing what they experienced many generations ago and you are part of that and you will be part of what the future generations will experience as well. You are the legacy of mana. In Tahiti, if you ask a Tahitian to explain to you what mana is, they might explain to you the concept of the Taura Tupuna, which is the ancestral braid. Think of a braid. A braid is not one single strand, but it's made up of several strands. We are one of those strands in that braid. It starts off from generations in the past and it continues with our adding our strand into the braid and future generations will add into that braid as well. What an awesome concept, isn't it? We're all part of one big family. So the Taura Tupuna by itself, we're, we're very fragile, right? One single strand is very fragile but together so much stronger. So if you keep that concept of oneness, you'll totally understand what mana is. Have you ever arrived in the islands and smelled the smell that you can only smell in that islands? For example, the tiare flower or even the smoke. Smoke, we often joke about it and say, oh, the smoke when we arrive in the islands. But guess what? That smell of smoke, we know we're in the islands. That can go back from the generations before. Where does the smoke come from? It comes from fire, right? What do we need fire for? We need fire to cook, don't we? And we also need fire to stay warm and we need fire for for light so this can go back generations that's they used it for the same thing and the same smell that they were smelling even if they smell the smoke or the tiare flower at that time you're smelling the same smell that they did generations ago now you're smelling it and future generations are going to smell that as well we can apply that to culture we can apply that to the history, we can apply that to the language, we can apply it to everything that goes into a Polynesian culture or history, and that is mana. Every time that past knowledge or that past culture, that past language, smell, sight, taste, anything is present in a current generation, mana can be felt there. And hopefully, we leave enough of that imprint by teaching the future generations that they will feel the mana that was created or that was cultivated or that was perpetuated through our generation. So remember, mana is a life force, it's a living thing, but it can only live if we continue to feed into it. So it lives in us, we feel it, we live it, but it also lives through us. In order to live through us, we must continue that and we must give back to that mana. We add mana. We bring mana to the table. The mana that was left by our ancestors for us, we tap into that, we grow it, we let it live inside of us, and then we let it live through us by giving to the future generations. Next time you're in the islands, open yourselves up to the idea of mana and you'll truly feel the power and the strength that is the knowledge of culture, of history, of language, through your eyes, your smell, your taste, your hearing, your sounds, all those sounds, open yourselves up and you will truly find mana. Maururu!